Hello, we have a Halloween haul for you today. I'm like covered in Halloween things that we got trying to hold everything together. If you guys are new, I'm Morticia. Gomez is behind the camera. This is our roommate Slappy, looking like he wants to go to sleep or something. And we are bringing a Halloween haul from Ross. And I'm in my favorite pumpkin shirt. I'm all Halloweeny. At least it's getting cold at night here, so I can get my autumn vibes on at night. I'm like ready to make hot teas and autumn cocos. I'm gonna like make some new different kind of autumn flavored cocos and stuff that I will hopefully be doing videos on if they're good. So if you guys are new, subscribe, stick around, turn on spookifications, the scary bell, may it toll, and like check out our other spooky playlists. We will link our hauls below. First, I'm going to start with the one, I think it was just like one mainly autumn thing we got because we love autumn and fall and I'd like to keep the vibes around all year. And this is a huge blanket from Ross. It was only like $20. I'm not going to unfold it. It's a king size. But it's one of those like fluffy kind of fleecy blankets that are out everywhere, but it's huge instead of like the little throw size. And it's autumn, so I'm going to use it as like a covering for the bed. It'll be all warm and cozy and fall all the time. So that was $20. And now we get into the Halloween stuff. And I will say, I know everybody like hates the Happy Halloween because you can't use it all year. I did get one Happy Halloween item, which I'll show eventually, but it had bats and autumn colors. And Halloween is every day, so why not, as long as it doesn't look tacky, have one Happy Halloween item. Sorry about the bending and contorting. All right, I'm trying to keep everything mildly organized. These are little Halloween towels that we use to hang in the kitchen to wipe our hands at other spillages if there are any. And I like to, I'm trying to get all my towels, little hand towels, to be Halloween-y, so we're building up our collection. These were um, two for like four dollars for something. The blanket was 20 if I didn't say. I love Ross. Um, and these have like the same thing on both. Goblins and ghouls and pumpkins and ghosties. Gotta love that. I love seeing goblins on anything, right goblins? Yeah. So uh, these are nice. And, oops, inside they're just fat. They're still kind of hooked together, but there's two of them. And that's a really good deal because Joann's was selling like all right ones for like 12 or six, depending on if they're on sale or not, for just one. And I'm like, no, nah, it's not all that. It's little and I'm not paying six for one. Here's the happy Halloween item. Just because I love Halloween pillows all the time. And I have this in my computer chair because it's long. It's longer than it is tall, so it stays and doesn't keep sliding out. And it has like, the white bats, which I had a problem with until Gomez pointed out it shows better on the black background than it is an orange bat. So it's like black, orange, basically, and it's got the like kind of autumn yellow lace. I love the lace around the edging. A nice uh, touch there, uh, the word Halloween has an orange ghost for the letter A. It's kind of cute. Yes, like Happy Halloween. And that's kind of cool, and you get the ghosties and the bats. It's just a good vibe, and you know, for us when Halloween's like every day, it's like whatever. I think it was around ten dollars. And again, it, as you can see this way, it's longer than it is tall, which makes it good to lean against and it doesn't keep moving around like some of my other ones like to keep moving around. But I love them all. So those are the softer items that squish. We got the towel, the blankets, and the pillow. Now we're going to the hard metal items. And they're all Halloween-y. This, I probably don't need, but it's okay. It was also around $10. Really good price for metal. Let me take this off. Stupid little tag. Sorry, hold on, just like two seconds. There. It's a pumpkin. My mom, and I think Aunt Tabitha both thought it was like a candle holder. It's supposed to be, and it probably is. Like, you put the candle in its little holder like in here, and then it shines out like a jack-o'-lantern that you didn't have to carve up and stuff. Except, and I love the autumn -y color, so that's cool. Except that, um, I want to put candy in it. Like, and and Tabitha was thinking the candy would fall out, but I'm like, if we get the right shaped candy, like this big packs of Skittles aren't going to go out, hopefully, if we don't cram it all the way full. I want to try to put candy in it. That was my intention for buying it. And if it doesn't work, it can be for a candle. So I just loved him. He's cool. Isn't he nice, Gomez? Yes. He's smiling cutely. You can see his mouth. See? And I like the nice sturdy metal, so that's cool. He looks awfully friendly. 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 That would be interesting. What's <laughs> how candy I mean now? <laughs> and I like the fact that he's not silver because of the fact that he. I like a realistic pumpkin color, you know. Is it gold? Uh, maybe bronze. Okay, we can edit that part out. 
Okay. I like the fact that he's bronze and not silver because it's more of like autumn-y and it's a realistic pumpkin color. I know a lot of people like like just the silvery stuff and I like autumn colors too. So to me, like bronze or gold is also autumn. So that's him. He's very sturdy and nice and solid and I like that. He won't, you know, like break if he falls over. And the last but certainly not least item is coming and I'm being careful so it doesn't break itself because it's also metal but it has all these silver links holding it. Haven't decided yet where it's going to go. Oops. Okay. Trying to be careful. But it's three bats. It reminds me of this we, I think it's the same company because it's the same bat design and the same, um, oh my gosh, I, I'm iron. It's iron. It's iron metal. So it's a nice dark color. Like, I think bats look cool when they're black. So this is a nice iron. And we have a thing that we got from Ross last year. If you want to check our last year's Ross Halloween haul on the playlist, um, it's a bowl. It's like got three bowls attached to this bat rising up out of it that sits on our table and it's the same exact bat. So he's like standing up on this little pedestal above these three connected bowls and they're all iron, like for little snacks or whatever. So this reminded me of that and I really love it so I had to get this and it's, I'm not sure where it's going to hang with because our walls are so full but we have to put it somewhere where it's got three and then they're all pretty much similar. Um, they get slightly bigger as they go up but not a lot. Like this one at the bottom isn't by any means little. And they're pretty heavy chains. I'm being careful that the chains don't break, but they look like they're held on to the bat wings by like key chain rings. I mean, they're that thick and sturdy. So that's cool. And the chains themselves are pretty thick. Like it would be heavy if it were on jewelry. So, and this was around $10 as well, just like give or take. And that's a really good deal. I love Ross because you get nice, elegant things for really good deals. And I love these bats. I just am in love with them. I'm not sure where they're going to go, but they need to go somewhere we can see them frequently because they're so awesome. So, that was that, kind of small, but we did a Ross store walkthrough as well that we uploaded, I think yesterday, no, two days ago, if you want to check that out. So hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully you have similar things if you're in the UK and don't have a Ross at your TK Maxx or something. So until next time. Stay spooky, my friends.